How are you, man? I'm doing well. Thanks for calling. No problem. This has got to be one of your last ones, huh? Are these interviews this week? Uh, yeah, we'll see. It probably is. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. You, uh, just tell me the preparation for this game. Talk to me a little bit about that and just... Um, you know, you guys have had now three weeks to prepare for Navy. You got to be really kind of chomping at the bit to play this game. Yeah, certainly, certainly chomping at the bit. I mean, having three weeks to prepare for one of the greatest rivalries in college football, it served us well. Um, we stayed focused, and we, we've tried to put together the, the best game plan. I think our defensive coaching staff has just done a tremendous job, and um, you know, we're, we're two days out, and by this point, we're locked and ready to go. Yeah, you're. Can you talk about your relationship with Coach Woody? Have you, did you guys kind of just hit it off at the beginning, or when you first met him, did he kind of tell you, did you get, get a sense of what your role would be on this defense? I think everyone that's that's starting on our defense and everyone that's earning time, um, you know, playing playing in our defense, everything has been earned. So, Coach Woody came in with with no no biases. Um, you know, same with all all of our coaches and. Um, you know, really they've done their best to evaluate our talent and, you know, our knowledge of the game and put us in the best position possible to win. So I wouldn't say there was any, you know, outstanding personal connection between anyone. Um, I think ultimately he's a defensive coordinator and, uh, and he's a football coach and, and he's putting the best guys, um, on the field. So, um, you know, I really appreciate what he's done and I think he's a fantastic defensive coordinator and, and I, um, I shouldn't forget to mention uh, the, the new inside linebacker coach, Sheila Wood. He's he's also uh, he's been amazing. Gotcha. Uh, watching you in, like, say your junior year through spring and even through preseason, you always seem to be have a nose for uh, uh, to be around the football. Is that something that like you learn through your days, like even playing in like youth, or how 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 does that? Like, how do you establish that? Is that just a lot of film study, or how would you describe, like, just being around the football a lot? I think it's a mix of a lot of things. Um, and, you know, I think just playing a bunch of different types of ath- athletics growing up, um, playing different sports, just being able to understand um, what's going on on the field. And, um, you know, I've been playing football since I was six years old. It's been, you know, I've been very passionate about it. It's something – both my older brothers did, and I really looked up to them. So to be the best football player you can be, um, I think, you know, you mentioned film. That's uh, that's something that's really helped me become um, a next-level player. And then, uh, you know, just, just being passionate about what you're doing and, and uh, not being complacent when you're preparing yourself. And that's that's throughout the off season and um, at any time in your career, especially for me here. Um, and then I think also just the more, the more you're involved in this program, um, the more reps you get at different styles of offense and, um, the competition here is great. So, um, I would say, I would say ultimately I've become a much better football player since, since stepping foot here, um, a couple of years back. Are you kind of a little humbled about like the recognition you've been getting this season and with the, you know, the watch list and, and, and the like, uh, is that humbling for you or? Yeah, it, it certainly is a humbling experience, and um, you know, while while any any type of attention for our defense is great, I think um, you know no individual could have the season that we're having, you know, without the other guys on the field. So our defense has played as a unit this whole season. Gotcha. Um, can you talk about just? I know you have a friend on the other side in Mitch West um, in this rivalry, and I know you've talked about that and what that means. Um, how that that really uh when you look at the rivalry between army and navy i mean when you have a friend on the opposite side it's the best rivalry in college football that's got to be a you know a, a pretty special thing to share right with with a, with a friend so close yeah it certainly is i'm uh, i'm really excited for the opportunity to play against him and um both of us this year have um increased our role on the field um and for both teams respectively so um it's always been awesome the past two years just seeing him on the field, pregame warm-ups, and, you know, being able to talk a little bit after the game and um, take a picture that, that we'll remember um, for the rest of our lifetime. So I'm really excited for the experience, and uh, it certainly adds to the hype of the game. No doubt. Um, Got to ask this. The Johnny Nation nickname, is that something that – where did that where does that come from? And, uh, you know, it seems like you really kind of um, are locked into it. 
Yeah, it's uh, it actually kind of started off as a uh, joke between um, my oldest brother and, and his friends. He had a friend that went by Donnie Nation, and uh, slowly but surely that evolved into Johnny Nation. Um, so that's what we call each other now. And um, actually, our former defensive coordinator Jay Bateman. Um, he, he saw that that was my Instagram handle, so he took it from social media, and he would call me that here. And um, since then, it's really stuck. So I take I take pride in it. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, um, what are some of the things that you're interested in outside of football in the academy? Do you have any like interest, special interests that you really like to do just to kind of get away from football, or just like West Point? Yeah, I'm really into the outdoors. Um, oftentimes, if I'm not doing football or school related stuff um you, you know i'm i'm looking up different stuff different things adventures and stuff that i can do um you know at any potential break or any trips in the future because uh i love the thrill of the outdoors and um different types of uh adrenaline type sports gotcha what, so i'm really into the outdoors yeah nice one last one what do you think um saturday will be like it's like a different of course it's a different venue you guys are going to be playing in your home stadium you're going to be dressed in your ho- your home locker room what do you think what how can you plan for like saturday what how, it's going to be a little different i guess from last year in in, in philly certainly not uh not playing at a neutral site and having the home game um it's a unique experience and uh you know just just being around the facilities in preparation for the game and seeing uh you know the different the different things that are required that are getting uh set up is it's pretty cool it's cool to see um the new paint job on the field and uh and you know just anticipate it it makes the game all that much uh that much more anticipated and so um really excited to see how everything plays out and just um fortunate to have the game here at mikey stadium Really appreciate it, John. Thanks for the time. Thank you, Sal.